aspirin. You can buy it without a prescription, and it's relatively easy to take. There's very strong evidence that aspirin can prevent colorectal cancer, but the association of aspirin with other cancer types isn't really as well established. Dr. Andrew Chan from Massachusetts General Hospital and co-authors examined data from two large national studies that include almost 136,000 health professionals, both men and women, who have been providing detailed information about their overall health for decades. We were able to actually look at aspirin data they provided us over the years and link that up with their diagnoses of various diseases, including cancer. Individuals who took various doses of aspirin on a regular basis did have a lower overall risk of developing any type of cancer. It was about a 3% lower incidence of, of cancer. Much of those cancers, however, were cancers of the gastrointestinal tract, so cancers that affect the esophagus, the stomach. The study appears in JAMA Oncology. There was about a 15 to 20% reduction in risk of developing a colon cancer if you were using an aspirin on a regular basis. We also found that it did take about six years of use for a benefit to emerge, uh, but you know, once there was this benefit, it was sustained over time. Dr. Chan also says daily aspirin may have an added benefit on top of routine colorectal cancer screening. And in addition, for folks that do not undergo screening for whatever reason, the effect of aspirin also is, is quite uh, pronounced. And because we know that cancer and heart disease are really the two leading causes of death in the U.S. population, the public health impact of these findings might be substantial. Catherine Dahl, The JAMA Report.